Welcome to a video from thislifestyle.com. This is my new collection for the core WaveState and WaveState Native. It works with all the WaveState versions. This is the M1 collection. This is based on the classic 1988 Korg M1 synth that um, you can hear all through the late 80s and in the early 90s and it's got some instantly recognisable sounds and some interesting sounds too. What I've done with this collection of the Wave State is I've recreated a lot of the presets and a couple of extra sounds in there as well. There are performances, programs, you'll see all the programs in there as well. There's even some sequences and some st and a set list as well, so you can go through those. So what I've done with these, as well as all the, uh, the, the multi-lanes, you know, the four separate parts, I've saved individual programs as well to create these performances. So in this video I'm just going to quickly demonstrate some of the sounds and I think probably one of the most famous ones is the uh, uh, universe so they can hear the So what I've done is I've used the virtual version of the M1 and uh, done it by ear, but a lot of the samples from the M1 are included and they're not all labelled as M1. Many of them are actually wave station sounds that were included on the M1, so you can kind of get them close together and have to do some manual work to do this as well. So there you heard uh, Universe, and that's made up of two separate sections. The choir, which you, can, which you hear, heard there, which you can hear in the top and the uh, effects layer as well which has got a big pitch envelope as you can hear so I've recreated all that so the M1 is a multi-timbral synth so that it was a, a workstation, so a sequencer and everything, drum machine so you could have a program that had two oscillators and then you can have eight of those uh, combined as well to make uh, a performance or a patch or however you want to call it. So in this case I've used the two oscillators there to get that effect. Incidentally I've got there a set list so you can activate that set list and it just goes through them in, in order which I just found it a bit easier when I'm using the uh, controls from there. Okay let's have a look at some of the other sounds. So the other famous one I suppose is the piano. famous used on loads of dance tracks in the late 80s early 90s and this is a faithful reproduction because the wave state has the actual m1 sample piano sample sound on there so that was a nice easy one to do so an example of one that's a bit more complicated will be something like the film score which is a performance or a combi made of multiple patches, so it was quite tricky to get that down to sort of the four layers. But you can hear the bell. And the, and the. Film score. And then what I've done is pick some of my favourite sounds. This is the 12 string sound. It's by Tangerine Dream in the 90s. So this is based on the factory. It's supposed to have five layers. I've managed to get it down to four layers. Okay, so this one isn't based on a, a preset, but when I was playing about with the sounds, it reminded me of Tangerine Dream in the 90s. This one, there's a bit of modulation you can do with Performance 3. It introduces the extra snare in there, it's on a probability, so if you reduce it down the probability is less, so it doesn't always play it. So 
so it's always there now. Made up of four layers, the choir, the piano, this is what I was saying earlier on about programs are in there, plus the loop that I made uh, to build all that together. <laughs> This one is based on a factory preset. Another simple one, an analog pad. This one's analog pad, but modeled straight off the original. And there was two of those, and I like both of them, so this is the other one. Bell synth. Bell voices, three layers to make this. Nice digital sound. Black hole is quite a complex one. I do some wave sequencing for this one and uh, multiple layers, so I think we've got th three layers of wave sequencing on this one. There you can see I'm using the shape lane to bring that pitch down of that uh, clicker effect. I just show it. There you can see, so I'm using that shape lane to just bring it down. This one, I remember exactly happy with, but I quite like the sound, so I've left it as the WIP work in progress. Maybe you could make this better, let me know in the comments. Then the famous choir. I think used by Queen and many others as well. Save that one as a program as well so you can incorporate one in those in your own. This one is not a preset, uh, but I wanted to use some of the M1 type sounds to make a kind of demo track. So we've got a drum kit there that's 
um, using the M sounds you would hear on an M1. We've got a bass from that era as well, and then uh, some LFO uh, stabs on top. Which is actually using LFO free running sync tempo synced. And then there's a pad as well which is poly after touch control. So there's our little drum pattern, pretty straightforward. Bass routine. Playing around with those mini basses, which are from the wave station. Which those samples are actually from the wave station. Those mini basses. Let me use the temp pitch on that. We've got poly after touch pad. The nice thing about poly after touch is you can just open up one note. Stab sound controlled by an LFO. Dream pad copied straight from the, from the preset of the M1. Not exactly the most famous probably sound from the M1, but I do like this one. This is the electric piano. And what I've done this, just to make it a bit different, you can hear this quite short envelope on that electric part. Because when I looked at the original, that's how they'd done it. They kind of had a, 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 a short sample and then a sort of a, a pad sound to go with it. So that's what I've done. So if you do it very gently, low velocities, you only really hear this side, the initial, the initial attack, pretty short because the release time is uh, the fade time I think I did it yeah there you go see velocity is controlling the fade so not exact replication of the M1 but using the wave states um, wave sequencing another factory sound that one and then a, a looped version of it using the wave stage features Interesting this one. You can hear that pitch envelope on the on the pans there. On the M1 it's actually got really complex envelopes, more complex than the traditional ones on the wave state. So I use the wave sequencing to get that effect. And you can see the patch the layer is called good and bad and you can probably guess why when you hear the 
in isolation. And so rather than using the complex envelopes, I used the uh, wave sequencer to do that. This one quite a famous one, OOR. So using velocity switching to switch the samples around, so low velocity. Get the OO, and then higher you get the R. Then the next one is the famous organ sound. A nice simple one to do that one because I use the organ M1 sample that's already there. Nice pan flute based on the factory one with some poly after touch. Where there's poly after touch I've also added from mob wheel as well in case you haven't got poly after touch. is the classic piano and classic voice combined together. M1 pole, I like this, it's a pole hitting sound, but it's a really nice sample. Like, it's used a lot actually when I went through the process. Pro Sync, which I suppose, I think is a sample of profit. Five sync effect doesn't exactly sound like that, but that's what it sounds like on the M1. And I've added the poly after touch. And symphonic. That's a big string sound. I've added in there a template as well, so if you want to create your own one, it has some of the basic setups ready to make your own M1 sounds, you can use that one. And you heard Universe, and then I've also added a couple of T1 sounds, which were sort of the bigger version of the M1, I had some extra memory cards and a big keyboard on there, and I found those presets, so here they are. guitar from the T1. Which is supposed to be feedback, I think. And one called Law from the T1.
and finally a mono synth. That's simple sound, but with a bit of it sounds quite good. When you hear it lower down, you can hear the fact that it's a sample. Probably have to touch support here as well. So those are all the performances. The programs are in there as well. So you can see we've got the programs in there, we've got the performances, we've got some wave sequencing, and we've got the set list as well, which are created. So thanks for watching this video. You can find those from digitallifestyle.com. Grab those, let me know what you think. If there's any M1 classic sounds you'd like to hear reproduced on the wave state, please let me know. Or any other synths that you'd like to have a go at, please let me know. I'll see you on the next video.